Hello, Darlene here with another Audacity tip for you. Today I'm going to show you how to import audio into an Audacity file and then some tips and tricks on organizing multiple audio tracks in your Audacity file. Because sometimes when you're creating a podcast or an audio production, you're going to have multiple tracks in your file and sometimes, depending on how many you have in your Audacity file, in your project file, things can get a little overwhelming. So the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is to import audio into your Audacity project file. So go to project, import audio, and then go to the file where your audio tracks rely and import them. And you can import multiple files in one shot by holding control on your keyboard and clicking the items that you would like to import and then click open and then audacity will go ahead and import all of the audio files into your project file it may take a while depending on the length of each audio that is being imported. okay so now I have all of my tracks imported into my audacity project file so if I scroll up and down, you'll see that I have several tracks here in the file. And each audio ended up being imported as its own audio track into my project file. And in order to see all of these audio tracks, I need to scroll up and down. And that can get a little tedious, especially when I start editing and want to line up my tracks in certain areas of, of times time spots in the project file. So one of the first things that you can do when you're working with multiple audio tracks in Audacity is to use the view menu so you can see everything a little bit better. So go view and fit vertically. And now all of your tracks that you have in your Audacity file you can view right in your screen all nice and pretty and organized. So I have four tracks here that I'm working with. So I did import four audio files. Now, the next thing is to, one, make sure before you import everything, name your files so you know what they are. So I know that track nine is the music that I use in the background for my podcast. Then I have here ad spots. I know that's going to be my ad bumper in the beginning of my podcast. Then I know the one cliff is my interview and then exit is my exit audio. So before you import everything, make sure you have everything named correctly. If you don't, you can change the name of each audio track so you know what, what is on that track and you can reference it. And the way to do that is to simply click on the track and select name. And then you can type and then click OK. So you can change the track name and, like I said, keep everything organized. Now, when you import your audio, even if you select your audio files in the order in which you would like them to appear in the tracks on your screen, it, it might not always happen that way. So you can order your tracks so that, for example, if I want my ad spots, because I know my ad spots are always first in my podcast, if I want them to be the first track in my project file, I can move that track up or down. And the way to do that is to select the name, the drop down arrow next to the name, and click move up, move track up or move track down. And I want to move it up. Then the next thing that I usually have in my podcast is the music behind the ad spots. So I like that where it is. And then cliff, that, that's exactly where it should be. And actually I'm missing an audio an, an audio file here. So you can, once you import four or, five, four or five or however many audio tracks that you have, you can continue to import audio. And I need to do that. So I'm going to import and I need my intro. I'm going to click open. Now, anytime you import a piece of audio, it's automatically going to be placed in a track at the very bottom. So my intro 
normally comes after the add spots. So I want to move that track up and I want it situated so when I'm working with this file everything is in order in which it appears in my final podcast audio file. So you would just keep, keep moving up. And there you have it. And now everything again, I can't see, I have to scroll. So I'm going to do view, fit vertically. And now I see everything again. And now I can use my time shift tool to just arrange my audio tracks. So they start one right after another. And that's why using the track up and down makes life easy. So if you can place your tracks where you want them to appear in your final piece of audio, it's easy then to use the time shift tool. And then you can also use view fit window so everything's not only fit vertically but you can also see everything without having to scroll left to right in order to see all of the content in your tracks. So that's really just some tips on how to import audio into Audacity then using the drop down to change the name of your track so you can keep your tracks organized by name and then also use the move track up and down feature so you can arrange your tracks where they should be in your audio production. And finally, using the view file menu to fit things vertically or to fit into, into the window so that you can see all of the audio tracks that you're working with. For more Audacity tips, check out my YouTube profile at youtube.com slash Darlene Victoria. And for more and for more tips, you can also visit yourtrueharmony.com, click on blog, and you'll have a whole host of other tips and resources at your fingertips. Thank you for watching, and happy recording. This was Darlene Victoria of True Harmony Media with another Audacity tip for you.